Hello and welcome back to Architects Workshop India. I am the SketchUp version of Lanak Sudhakar. And we just made this podium here. And here I am standing at it. Do you think it looks good? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Before we actually do anything further, let's set up our SketchUp itself, right? In terms of the user interface and things like that. We can move the toolbar out. But more than that, if you go to views and toolbars, we get this menu, which we can then just turn everything on just to see what else is available. A few of these you might not yet have, but that's fine. Okay. Those are a lot of toolbars all over the place. We'll sort them out in a second. Moving into options, uh, we leave this on, the uh, screen tips, always useful. We'll take this off. We don't need large icons, small icons are fine. And I love that. I love the popping. But anyway, close. Amongst these, this was the one that we had earlier. This seems like it has this entire thing and more, right? So for now, I'm going to take the large tool set and stick it to the left. So I'll just bring it close to the left edge of the screen and drop it. And it now is docked, so to speak. All right. The standard we'll put right up on top. That has the open, new and things like that. Drawing, you'll notice, is actually contained here. So we don't need this. Edit is contained here again. We don't need this. Camera is contained here. So we don't need this. Selection, as in these are sections, which are again, con not exactly contained. So we'll keep this here. And the way we, uh, again, just to dock it, move it to the left edge of the screen and drop. Styles, we'll, Move to the top of the screen. Sorry. Sandbox again to the top of the screen. Layers to the top of the screen. Shadows to the top of the screen. This is already contained within here, so we can close this. Location, evidently. Uh, let's just drop it here for now. Warehouse and views. Views are important, we'll keep that there. Actually, we'll move the layers here. We move sandbox tools there. We'll put views there because that's fairly important. We'll use that rather often. Then shadows, then layers maybe, then sandbox, okay. Construction is again contained within here. We can close this. This, these are dynamic components which are uh, which we can keep but actually let's just drop it in here since we have the place and the warehouse yep. and we can close this because all the tools that are here have been incorporated everywhere else now this is what I prefer my SketchUp install so to speak to look like we can, this is a measurements tool. If you'll notice that right now it's not yet there, but if I click and click somewhere, close this, it appears here. Okay. So we don't need the measurements thing either. So this is how I prefer my SketchUp to look. So I know where each of the tools are and what I'm using and things like that. You can figure your own methods and what's this, locations for each one of these. And as in when you prefer something else, you can obviously change it as in when you choose. Now let's look at one more thing, which is in Windows and default tray, show tray. 
it shows you this particular well tray and you can again dock it to any one of the sides by moving it to the edge but for now I'll leave it floating and within here we can either go to manage trays and uh, select them and let's say entity info materials components styles layers scenes shadow fog actually not those these yeah these are the ones that i prefer if you want you can try the others as well and close so this gives you a few more of the tools that uh, tools and options that sketchup allows in an easy accessible manner to look at what these are if i was for the entity info entity info is basically if you select something this particular info box will tell you what you've actually selected so right now i've selected a face these are the materials of the face and what layer it is on and it will even tell you the area of that particular face and we can do this by simply clicking on whichever different face we want styles shows you different basically styles of uh, visualization of sketchup itself you have a lot of different styles in fact which are a lot of fun to play with Default. Let's use this. No, this simple style. Okay, simple style it is. Then layers, scenes, shadows, which we saw previously as well. Let's switch that on. Do we have a shadow? There we go. Now we can control the shadow as we want. With just a few of these settings, therefore, you can create wonderful looking models and visualizations. You can immediately just export this as a 2d graphic as a png and then put them into your presentations and so on with that i'll see you in the next one where we start to talk about components